this over here. Here in Madrid, I've tried uh, just talking to women. I've tried approaching women on the streets, like, and like, first of all, let me tell you about the women here. So after how many days have I been here? Five. After five days of being here, I'm like, you know, I have an assessment because I've been approaching, trying to talk every day. Uh, no success. Right. And I, when I approach chicks, first of all, it's hard to approach them because they have that tunnel vision. If you guys know what I mean by tunnel vision, that means they walk down the street like this. And my exaggerated relation to that has always been if you if there was a, a bus flying from the side of them at 100 miles per hour, they wouldn't even see it coming because they're so focused on what's in front of them. So that already gives off a don't fuck with me energy. So, you know, I'm like, well, maybe they don't know what they're doing because sometimes they don't. Some people are just socially unaware of their surroundings. I've been in many, many places throughout the world where you guys hear me brag about the success I'm having. Women don't have that tunnel vision. They're kind of looking around. So um, I approach one and I said, hello, hola in Spanish, of course, right? I was like, hello. And I thought she said hello back. Maybe she did it, I can't remember. But she looked at me and I, this was today. And I was like, so where are you from? Because she looked like a Latina. So I'm just genuinely, and she was fine as fuck. But I was just genuinely curious, where are you from? And she was like, que? What? And I said it again, so where are you from? She said, que? And I said, where are you from? What the fuck? I know I'm saying, I know I'm saying that shit right. So then she says, why do you want to know where I'm from? I said, have a nice day. And so she pulled out her phone and uh, started talking shit about me to somebody on her phone. And so I'm like, ah, <laughs> that, ooh, look down there, down the street. I'm like, ah, that's just like the States. So people were telling me like, it's just like the States here. And uh, after coming here, like, let me put it like this. Coming from Lisbon. Lisbon was the place I was at right before this. Lisbon, Portugal. Lisbon, Portugal was a lot better if you want to approach. As you guys seen, you guys see me do approaches on camera. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think you'll see that shit happening here. Because a lot of them, I mean, I'm open. It's a possibility. But a lot of them have that don't fuck with me look when they're walking around now of course granted i've had some here and there like for example i was riding a scooter through town and uh there was a chick with what appeared to be her mother and maybe a sister or a cousin and she was staring at me you know your boy had on that black puma tank top you know i had on that puma tank top so you know that's what did it so she was staring at me with like a smile so I started to uh, stare back and I almost ran over this uh, Asian family, right? And she's like, oh, what? Uh, I almost ran over this Asian family and her mom is like grabbing her arm like, oh, don't talk to him. So I was like, fuck it. But I told her, I was like, damn, you almost made me wreck. And she was like, what? And I was like, oh, you don't speak English. Because I've been speaking English. A lot of people here speak English. So that's when her mom grabbed the arm and was like, don't talk to him. So I just rode off. So, so far, uh, there's a big, there's a big pay for play scene out here. So I guess if you want to do pay for play and you come to Madrid, you might want to stick to that <laughs> just giving you guys honest opinion because i think 